Hi, thanks for tuning in to the final videos of our series, Layers of Flavors, Culinary Training, presented by Mushrooms in School. I'm Chef Robert, and we've covered a lot of ground so far. From reviewing the benefits of mushrooms, to the varieties we most commonly use in schools, to seeing how to prepare them in a number of ways. The name of the game is flavor. Using the techniques I've shared with you to add the delicious umami flavor of mushrooms to your menus in ways that will reduce food costs, speed up prep time, and most importantly, enhance the taste and nutritional quality of your menus. To bring it all together, I'm going to show you a sample menu utilizing all the recipes we've discussed over the course of our previous videos. This is just to get your creative juices flowing. The opportunities are endless and the mushrooms can be incorporated into many recipes and menu concepts beyond the recipes we covered in this course. For example, when I add mushrooms to my menus, the first thing I do is add sliced mushrooms to a fresh salad and fruit bar. No labor by purchasing fresh sliced. Secondly, I research different menu items to see where I could fit mushrooms in on a weekly basis. I was always taught to use an item three ways or in three days in order to bring it into the kitchen. Having an ingredient on our shelves that can only be used once in our cycle is not efficient. But luckily, when it comes to mushrooms, this doesn't have to be the case. As we discussed in our videos, mushrooms can be served fresh in the few days after they arrive in your kitchen and can be also utilized in a variety of cook dishes to extend their shelf life and to ensure every last mushroom is fully utilized in your meals. Therefore, I think you'll find once you look at your menu and entrees, there are so many recipes and meals you can easily add mushrooms to. Here we have a four week cycle of our main hot entrees. As a reminder, I also highly recommend utilizing both fresh and roasted mushrooms on salads and topping bars and serving fresh sliced mushrooms in grab and go meals too. In our first week on Monday, we have our very veggie flatbread using a variety of fresh canned and frozen vegetables. This is a great Monday meal utilizing cooked mushrooms since you may not have fresh produce delivery in time for service and fresh mushrooms from previous week may be past their prime for fresh service. Remember, my trick is to pre-roast your mushrooms and freeze them if you need to use them the following week. While our recipe uses fresh mushrooms, roasted mushrooms would also be great on this flatbread. Speaking of fresh produce, this is always something I take into account when building my menus, maximizing the quality and freshness of our ingredients based on our delivery schedule. If your produce delivery comes on Monday, look for menu offerings that make use of fresh produce on Tuesday through Thursday. On Tuesday, we have our Make Your Own Ramen Noodle Bar, inspired by Kapu ISD, utilizing our fresh mushrooms. On Wednesday, we feature that delicious and easy to assemble entree salad, the antipasta salad. We combine most of the ingredients and let them marinate overnight. The next day, we finish our salads by putting a cup of our pasta salad on a bed of romaine and top with tomatoes and cheese. On Thursday, our fresh mushrooms make another appearance in the form of our Italian mushroom salad, which has been marinated overnight. On Friday, we can use those fresh mushrooms as a topping on our pizza. And it's your choice to either roast the mushrooms before topping and baking the pizza or topping with the fresh mushrooms and baking that way. This may depend on the time you have available, what your students prefer, and the current quality of the mushrooms you have in house. Remember, you can always roast mushrooms that morning or the day before, hold them under refrigeration until it's time for service too. At the end of the week, if you still have fresh mushrooms that need to be used up, consider roasting them off and freezing them for use the following week in one of the other recipes, such as using them 
in your quiche on Wednesday. As you can see, for the remainder of the menu, we are able to incorporate both fresh and cooked mushrooms in a variety of ways, maximizing inventory and highlighting different cuisines and serving methods. From burgers to breakfast for lunch, we can also have some blended products too, including meatballs and burgers. We even have a theme going on each day that repeats each week too. This can help students get into a rhythm with your menu. While we're always asked to add variety to our menus, it's also true that customers young and old alike enjoy knowing what to expect when they come to the cafe. So having some recurring themes within your cycle can be a good thing. Another thing to keep in mind is local produce and seasonality. Mushrooms are local to most districts. Definitely check with your produce distributor to see if your mushrooms are local and request that your distributor look for local sources. Because mushrooms are available year round, you can include mushroom based recipes in your cycle menu and never worry about availability. Mushrooms can also be mixed with a variety of other in season veggies depending on the time of the year. When writing your menu and marketing materials, make sure to call out your local veggies and when mushrooms are utilized to highlight the many ways you're offering freshly prepared meals. Signage on the serving line is also a great way to achieve this. And we have pre-made product identifiers and signage to help you with this, downloadable from the Mushrooms in Schools website. As you can see, mushrooms can be a staple in your kitchen and used within many different recipe applications to both highlight freshness and quality and also improve inventory management by utilizing product multiple times throughout the week and month. We've now reached the end of our Layers of Flavors culinary training course. I hope you've picked up some valuable tips and ideas for serving mushrooms in your schools. We love featuring recipes from real school districts across the country. So if you have a recipe you'd like to share with other districts, please contact us at schoolmeals at mushroomcouncils.org and we will add it to our website for other use. Make sure you also follow Mushrooms in Schools on Facebook and Twitter for more Mushrooms in School tips, success stories, and of course, recipes. Once again, I'm Chef Robert for Mushrooms in Schools. Thanks for watching, so long for now.